Alright guys, welcome back to Grim Reaper RC and today in this video we have the 114 scale RC four wheel drive low boy tractor trailer. This is also by JC Concepts or JD Models or Eagle Machinery, whatever you guys want to call it. We're going to be installing the semi trailer light set. This is the 114 scale RC tractor truck option and spare part number two. This has the brake light bulb, the blinker, and the receptacle and the connector for the board connector on the multifunction control unit. Now it just gives you a quick wiring diagram on the box trailer and actually I already do have this installed in here but when we were going for a drive with the dozer on the back of it I ended up blowing out my rear directional so we're just going to be replacing that in this video today so make sure you guys stay tuned if you want to know how to do it for your own. Alright guys, so we did just take off the first tire. There are 12 different tires on here. There are six sets of du two dualies, which is actually really cool. Now on the back of here, we're going to start off by taking off these hex screws on the mud flap, just so that we have a easy way to get to all of this stuff right here. Actually, that seems like a really bad angle. I might even use a 90 degree wrench, so this video might be super long. So stay tuned. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to hit it this way. Yep, that's what we're doing. And we took off the hex for the wheel, nice. And we were able to get this one out of the way, nice. Alright, and with that out of the way, we just have two more hex bolts back here, which you guys can see. I'll readjust it, don't worry. My hands are probably going to be in the way of this whole video. But here are the two hex bolts that we're going to be taking off. I believe they are the same size. Let's see which they are. All right, and I did flip it upside down and we're gonna repeat the same process over here. So again, I'm just taking off the mud flaps right now. Sorry for all the noise in the background. I do have a rabbit and he is rearranging his cage right now. He's moving his water and his food bowl over so that he can lie down. All right, we did just take the mud flap off on the right side of the tractor trailer. We did have a pull through on a screw for the mud flap. The third screw in pulled right through the mud flap and is still sitting back here. So I'm just going to take that one out real quick. All right. And then we have the two black hex screws again on the cover to the lights themselves. Basically the light bucket cover. 
then that comes right off. All right, so we're gonna pop this brand new box open. Let me pull you guys back. Here are the instructions with some double-sided tape, which is always nice to have. Here are the goodies. We don't need that piece that fell. We also don't need that piece that fell right there or that one either. Don't need the bag as well. We just need this right here. And we're also probably gonna keep this little black tie right here so we can tie it down to some of the frame rails. Nice. All right, guys, so we did just wire it through the front real quick, and I'm actually gonna tuck the wires underneath. Oh, I just pulled off this little side rail. It's no big deal. We'll just flip this thing over, and we will grab the screws and start pulling the lights down and in. So we're gonna put them all underneath the axles over here. Without damaging any of the lights, we're gonna pull it right through. And without getting tangled up in the new light kit. So I'm gonna lift you guys up so you can see and face you guys down. That's a bit better of an angle. So you guys can actually see what's going on. All right, so we're actually gonna put the directionals on the outside and just so that we all know the red and brown one goes on the right side so that would be the right directional so we're going to pull the old wiring harness and wiring for the lights back and then we're going to throw the new one in going to try to untangle it the best I can. Sorry, I just hit the camera on you guys. So the red and brown one comes over on the right side like we were talking about. It's gonna come over and sit on this side. So now we're gonna start setting up the light bracket.
that's not signed in. Just the right side of the trailer itself. Actually, we're not going to put the mud box on yet. We're just going to test it for a second before we put everything fully back together. That way we know it's all working. We're just doing the same thing over here installing this little white bracket. This one is fighting us, same thing as the other side. I'm gonna exercise with you guys. <clears throat> all right guys so we did just install both of those two light buckets and we did get all of the lights wired to it so we did put the yellow and the orange wire on the outside just making sure because that is the directional and we did put the red and brown wire on the outside over here which is also the directional so we're just going to be pulling this other wire up and through we're gonna grab Optimus Prime, we're gonna plug it in and make sure it works, and then we're gonna be screwing the tires back in, and that's basically it. All right, so we got Optimus back over here. I'm just gonna reach up over here and grab the remote to him. All right, and we're gonna make sure all the switches are flipped up. We're gonna turn this on, and it's gonna beep a few times. We're gonna center it. Place it over to the side, plug our battery in. Now let's see, can we reach it? Oh, I don't know how we're gonna be able to get to this. All right, we're gonna have to back this up just a little bit, moving the battery forward as we do so, making sure we don't hit anything. Can we reach now? like half an inch away, not even. All right, and we're plugged in. So now let's flip Optimus on. You can hear that his sound kit just started up. So now we're gonna flip the switch down. And then we are going to turn on one, two, 
and three to turn on all of the lights. And it looks like we have both brake lights on right there. So I'm going to adjust you guys and check the directionals. All right, guys. So I'm just going to lean in here and manually hit the servo switches. So that should be the left directional. And then we have the right directional right there. Then if we go up, we also should have our hazards right there. All right guys, so now that we gave it a good little test, I feel safe enough that we can put the mud flaps and the tires back on. So I'm actually gonna hide the rope to the oversized load sign behind the mud flaps just to keep everything tucked away. So we did just get this mud flap installed. So we are going to reinstall the pin into the drive shaft and then the hex nut on top. And then we are just going to tighten down the little hex nut inside of the hex itself. Then we're gonna grab our wheel like such, and another nut for the wheel itself. All right, now we're three screws and two nuts away from being done.
install a light kit onto the back of your 114 scale RC four wheel drive low boy trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the post notification button beside the subscribe button so you guys get notified whenever I upload a video just like this one. All right, guys, that's it for Grooming Your RC today.